Hi, this is Jake. Welcome to Modern Fellows. The dress sneaker is dominating business casual workplaces. In this episode, get to know the history of dress sneakers and how they exploded in popularity as the result of the pandemic. Dress sneakers, also known as hybrid dress shoes, have some of the stylistic elements of a dress shoe, such as leather uppers. But they also possess some of the standard features of a sneaker, like a thick, comfortable sole with good traction. These hybrid sneakers look more formal than obviously athletic footwear, but they're still much more casual than classic dress shoes. Their versatility makes it easy to incorporate them into a business casual outfit or a preppy look. While dress sneakers have been around for more than a decade, their popularity exploded during the pandemic. Long before the pandemic, there was Cole Haan. On February 9th, 2012, Kohan invited a small group of reporters to their store in New York City's Soho neighborhood to show off the Lunar Grand, a new hybrid dress shoe that incorporated Nike's colorful Lunarland cushioning system to their traditional brogued wingtip. In a 2012 article, Sneaker Freak had described their appeal at the time, saying, In 2011, an image floated onto the interweb showing what appeared to be a traditional brogue atop some sort of Nike sole. Backyard experiment or legitimate leak. This curious image came with no explanation, but the memory lingers. Designer hybrids are a matter of personal taste and subjective opinion, but as an expression of melodious harmony, there was something sublime about this old-fashioned mashup. Kohan continued to develop its dress sneakers, unveiling the Zero Grand in 2014, which continues to be a bestseller today. Other designers got into the game too, with luxury fashion labels like Tom Ford cranking out $800 leather low-top dress sneakers in the mid-2010s. Back then, those hybrid dress sneakers would have generally been reserved for smart casual situations like dinner at a friend's or a bar at the weekend. GQ's Mark Anthony Green observed in 2014 that it's only a matter of time until you're mowing the grass in your wingtips and saving your dress sneakers for special occasions. Then came the pandemic. Dress sneakers are part of the general trend towards the casualization of attire that accelerated during the pandemic. After months of working from home in sweatpants, more employees started pushing for relaxed dress codes and favoring comfortable clothes and shoes in the office. Direct consumer brands, luxury designers, and mass retailers all started developing new comfort-focused footwear. In 2020, Wolf and Shepard released the Long Wing Hybrid Collection, a visually stunning dress sneaker that sold crazy quick. In an interview during the pandemic, their founder Justin Schneider told me that the release of the Long Wing Hybrid dress sneaker was transformative for Wolf and Shepard. The customer response, the page visits, the click-throughs started to create a flywheel for us, he said. He told me that the Long Wing crossovers were flying out the door four times faster than their comfort-focused traditional dress shoes. As the pandemic dragged on, we saw the launch of new products such as Ace Mark's Kickstarter for luxury dress sneakers and commentary from the likes of Oliver Cabell about why dress sneakers are a business casual essential. You even saw an entirely new brands pop up, like Amberjack, specifically to focus on the trend. When professionals returned to the office, many brought their dress sneakers with them. With dress sneakers showing up at the White House, it's clear they've reached some degree of acceptance in more formal settings, for better or for worse. Whether dress sneakers are appropriate for the office really depends on your office. Business casual dress codes can vary widely, and they're often fuzzy, making it difficult to know what's permitted or prohibited. The Society Human Resource Management's Model Business Casual Dress Code policy permits clean athletic shoes, but the NBA requires players to wear dress or presentable shoes. Goldman Sachs has told its employees to dress in a manner that is consistent with your client's expectations whatever that means. And one Washington DC based firm permits dress sneakers only on Fridays, according to the Wall Street Journal. And despite the fact that prominent lawmakers and congressional staffers have now been spotted sporting dress sneakers, casual footwear remains prohibited in certain parts of the US Capitol. To be safe, ask your manager or human resources department whether hybrid dress sneakers are acceptable for work. Setting aside whether dress sneakers are appropriate for any particular workplace, there's a broader debate raging 
about whether dress sneakers are stylish or tragic. When you see a guy strutting through the city in a suit and your eye reaches the sneaker, the whole look collapses, GQ's creative director Jim Moore told the New York Times. He added that dress shoes are a sign of courtesy and good manners in formal settings. Menswear writer Derek Guy sparked a lively discussion on Twitter, posting photos of White House meetings with past presidents, suggesting that the hard-soled dress shoes visible in photos look so much more fitting for the Oval Office. Other threads followed online in places like Style Forum. Writing in Newsday, Fred Brunning piled on, calling dress sneakers a sort of hybrid between floor shimes and your old pair of PF flyers and a DC fashion crime. But not everyone agrees. The Sneakerhead Congressional Caucus, co-chaired by Representatives Jared Moskowitz and Lori chavez DeRamer, are actively promoting athletic shoes as appropriate footwear for the office. They released a statement after that White House meeting commending both parties for putting their best foot forward and demonstrating that sneakers and statesmanship are compatible. With that, here are some of the best options to find dress sneakers for men. Entrepreneur Justin Schneider originally founded Wolf & Shepard to produce dress shoes that combine luxury quality with the comfort and performance features of athletic footwear. Their crossover long wing is a shining example of a dress sneaker. It's made in Portugal with full grain Italian calf skin. At 19 ounces a piece, the long wing crossover is slightly heavier than your typical shoe or sneaker. But it features a stunning silhouette and I found my pair to be both comfortable and durable. Wolf & Shepard shoes go for about $290. Founded in 1928 by Traft and Cole and Eddie Hahn, Cole Hahn continues to stay competitive through consistently high quality shoes and its responsiveness to industry trends. It has a growing selection of minimalist knit sneakers and dress sneakers. Most of Cole Hahn's grand series of dress sneakers fall into a relatively affordable price range of from $100 to $200. Beckett Simonin was founded by Nicholas Hurtado and Andres Nino. They're committed to ethical labor practices, and they've been one of my favorite options for affordable dress shoes for men for years. Priced between $150 and $200, their durable hybrid dress sneakers won't break the bank. And they feature elevated touches like water repellent suede or a leather lining that helps regulate moisture and odor. Founder John Peters launched Amberjack during the pandemic because he wanted a nice pair of dress shoes that were comfortable and cool. Amberjack's hybrid dress shoes for men look more like dress shoes than many other dress sneakers. The sneaker outsole and heat-activated insole blend well into a professional, though still somewhat more casual-looking hybrid dress shoe for men. For an even more casual look, try Amberjack's original dress shoe in suede. When Scott Gabrielson launched the Oliver Cabell brand in 2018, he had no experience in fashion but he envisioned producing footwear that combined old-school craftsmanship with modern materials, such as Margam soles. The brand has an extensive selection of sneakers, and some of them are a great fit for a business casual office. Their prices tend to fall between $200 and $350. Founded in 2012 by Paul Farrago, Ace Marks aims to provide men with skillfully handcrafted luxury shoes that don't hit astronomical prices. The brand's sleek and gleaming leather dress sneakers typically cost between $150 to $250. Take a look at Ace Mark's cognac colored unique slip-on dress sneaker and its Capto Oxford leather dress sneaker made with antique Italian leather. With the dress sneaker so popular, there's no shortage of options to choose from. For even more choices, check out the comments and the link to my post on modernfellows.com. Thanks for listening. I hope you let me know what you think of the rise of dress sneakers in the comments. Are they appropriate for the office or the White House? Do you have a favorite brand? For more information on Modern Fellows, please check out modernfellows.com.